What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again here with our partial quotient lesson. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a four digit dividend being divided by a one digit divisor. So, let's split open our lesson today and see what our objective is. Our objective today, today I will be able to divide a four digit dividend by a one digit divisor by using the partial quotient division strategy. Uh, if you were here with us for our last lesson about two and three digit dividends, you know these steps, but if not, let's go over them really quickly. Our steps for partial quotients. Number one, the dividend goes on the inside, the divisor on the outside, just like our song says. Number two, we're gonna make an easy multiple sheet if you need that. Some teachers aren't gonna make you do that. I would make you do it if you were my student, but that's okay. Step number three, we're gonna follow HMSR, which we'll find out a little bit more in our next slide. And number four, you are done when you subtract and have a number left that is less than the divisor. So go ahead and pause the video, get those down in your notes. This is a great time to remind you that the notes, if you don't have them, are in the description of our video. You can print them out and fill them out or just make a copy on your Google Docs and fill them out. So that way you can always go back and refer to your notes as you're studying your math. All right, let's get into HMSR. H is our first question we're gonna ask ourselves. How many groups? M, we're gonna multiply. S means we are going to subtract. And R means we are going to repeat it until we get a number when we subtract that is less than our divisor. Let's take a look at these steps in action. All right, so here we have 6,768 being divided by nine. That means nine is our divisor. So we're going to make our easy multiple sheet over here for nine. So one group of nine would be nine. Two groups of nine would be 18 three groups of nine would be 27, four groups of nine would be uh, 36, five groups of nine would be 45. Okay, and then I'm gonna start over and I'm gonna do 10, okay? And so this easy multiple sheet can really be anything you want. If you were here with us for our first lesson, you already know that. Most of you at least know your one through five facts, and if not, that's okay because you can use any of your basic facts to help you solve these. If you just don't know your basic facts, it just might take you a few more steps, right? Um, so I'm gonna do 40 times nine is gonna be 360, and 50 times nine is going to be 450. Now I see I am nowhere close to my dividend, and I don't wanna make this forever. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm going to um, jump to 300 here, okay? So if I do 300 times nine, that'd be 2,700. Okay, and then I see I'm not really close yet, so let me just go ahead and jump to 500, and I'll do 500 times nine would be 4,500. I'm gonna go ahead and stop there because I'm out of room. Some of you already figured out that you can even do one more step and take a bigger chunk, but using your easy multiple sheet, remember our rule of thumb is that we wanna take the biggest chunk out possible. So I'm gonna pretend right now like I only know my fives facts, which is why I used one through five, 10 through 50, and then 300 and 500. If you know more of your basic facts, you could do it in less steps than I'm gonna do it in, but that's okay. So dividend goes on the inside, divisor goes on the outside. I draw my line alongside, and I'm going to skip a line, draw a line, and put my times. I always put my times there because multiplication is groups of repeated addition. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out 4,500, which would be 500 groups of nine. So if I write my steps right here, how many groups multiply, subtract, oops, that was repeat. So how many groups? 500. When I multiply that, I've already done the work on my easy multiple sheet, so that'll be 4,500. I need to subtract now. All right, when I do that, I get 2,268. This obviously isn't less than nine, so I need to repeat. So I'm going to skip a line, draw a line, and put my times. Now I can't use 4,500, okay? I can't use uh, 2,700 because that's too big. But what I am gonna do, just so I don't have to use 50, is I'm gonna use 200 groups. And again, I couldn't fit that on my easy multiple sheet, and that's okay. All right. Again, you can use any uh, partial, you can use any facts that you want. I just make a list of them right here, so that way I know what I can do. And when I, how many groups? 200, multiply uh, nine times 200, and that's gonna be 18 and two zeros, right? So 1,800, understanding my powers of 10. I'm gonna subtract as my next step. All right, more on the floor, go next door, get 10 more, and I'm gonna be left with 468. Obviously 468 is not less than nine, so I'm gonna uh, skip a line, draw a line, and put my times here. I can't use 2,700. 
I can use 450 though, so that would be 50 groups of 9. How many groups? 50. Multiply 9 times 50. You've already done that right here. 450. There we go. Subtract. All right. And 18 obviously is not less than 9, so I need to skip a line, draw a line, put my times. And right here I see I have the perfect amount. That would be 2 groups of 9. When you multiply that's 18. Subtract, and I get 0. Obviously 0 is less than 9, so I'm done. So now I just need to add up all my groups on the side right here. I'm going to add up all my partial quotients. When I do that, I get 700, 750, 752. Now, I want to make sure I put the uh, 7 in the hundreds place, so I write it over the right place value. The 5 in the tens place, and then I write the 2 in the ones place, and I could tell that my variable C is 752. So that's how we do this. It's the exact same steps you used for the 2 and 3 digit dividend. Now we just have another place value. Let's go ahead and do this we do problem together. So we have 4,320 divided by 8, and that's going to equal t. And we're trying to figure out what does our variable t represent. So the first thing I'm going to do, right, I'm going to do 4,320 inside. I'm going to put 8, my divisor, on the outside. And I draw my line down there. I'm going to skip a line, draw a line, and put my times. Now, I need to make my easy multiple sheet before I can start working, right? So my divisor is 8, which means I'm going to start with one group of 8 equals 8, two groups of 8 equals 16, three groups of 8 equal 24, and if you only know your threes, now you could go and you could do 10, 20, 30, right? This is the best part about partial quotients is no matter if you know your basic facts, all of them, or just some of them, you can use what you know to help build your answer, okay? We're using our basic facts to build our division answer. So four times eight or four groups of eight would be 32. Five groups of eight would be 40, okay? Now I'm gonna take us to this next level thought. All right, if you're ready for this, great. If not, just ignore what I'm saying and keep making an easy multiple sheet. I know that this is 4,320, okay? So if I rounded that, that'd be about 4,000. I know right here that I have a 40. So if I wanted to take 500 and multiply it by eight, I know that would give me 40, and then I add my two zeros to get 4,000. So my biggest chunk, if you're thinking about this, okay, and you understand your easy multiple sheet, you can jump right to this and use that first. All right, now we're not there yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing my 10 groups of eight equals 80, right? 20 groups of eight equals 160, 30 groups of eight equal 240, 40 groups of eight equal 320, and oops, there we go, and 50 groups of eight equals 400, all right? Now, again, if you have that thought, you can go ahead and skip right to this, but if not, go ahead and after you get to 50, you go to 100, right? We're using our basic facts one through five to help us. And again, if you're really good at your basic facts and you can use other ones, please use those. So 100 uh, groups of eight would be 800. 200 groups of eight would be 1,600. 300 groups of eight would be 2,400 or 2,400. And then I'll try to squeeze one more 4,000 groups of eight would equal 32,000, okay? And then I have my 500 over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, again, the rule of thumb, take the biggest chunk possible. That way you're gonna do it in the least amount of steps. So if I have 500 groups of eight right here, all right, let me write my steps, how many groups, multiply, subtract, repeat. When I multiply eight times 500, you've already done that, that's 4,000. When I subtract, I get 320. This is obviously is not less than eight, so I skip a line, draw a line, and put my times. Now, I can't use 4,000 anymore, right? I can't use 3,200, 2,400, 1,600, 800 is too big, 400 is too big, but oh, look right here. I have 320 perfectly, which was 40 groups of eight. When you multiply, that's 320. You subtract, you get nothing left, which means you can now add up your groups on the side making sure you put them in the right place value, right? The five is in the hundred, four is in the tens, and your answer, your quotient for this problem is 540. All right. All right, here's what we want you to take with you today. When you use the partial quotient strategy, there are many ways to find your answers. You can use whatever basic facts you want to help you build your partial quotient answer.
Thank you so much for checking us out today. We know how many options there are online for your online learning. Check out our Partial Quotient song. We would love for you to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let us know where you're watching from. Give us any feedback. We love to hear it. Again, thank you so much. Instructor Beats, out.